I was asked to give a tutorial to show how you might be able to uh, place several verses of Bible text into one slide. Well, it does pose a bit of a problem, so I'm going to show you how I did it. Uh, it's not easy, but uh, if you can create the template here to start with, um, it will be helpful. So we'll go to the template here, and we're going to go to this one here, which I've already created. I'll open it up in edit mode and show you how I made it. First of all, what I it started out as just a black background, and uh, so I dragged, I went over to Explore uh, Media here, and I went to uh, Scenes, which is here, and uh, I dragged this one over because it had a nice dark background. So after I got that picture on there, um, I gave it a, the um, template a title, calling it Bible Verses. Then what I did is I took the uh, the title portion, <coughs> which was initially up here, kind of like this. Okay, that's that's where it was. And all I did is I resized the frame down to a fairly small square. And then I dragged it way down here, out of the way, so it won't get shown. And then I took this frame, moved it up near the top, because we want to have as much room as possible to project the verses in case there's a lot of them. So I made the uh, text frame that size. Then I clicked on here, and I went up here and made sure that the text is white and italic. Well, it's just because I preferred that. And then I chose the font Arial. Of course, you can choose whatever font you like. And I picked a font that was 24 points. You might want a little larger, you might want a little smaller, but keep in mind if it's too small, it's not going to be readable. So, okay, that was basically my template. Then I went save and quit. And when I close it, <coughs> it's uh, now going to appear in my templates right here. So now when I go to um, create some Bible verse sequences, so basically what we're going to do here is we're going to create a song or a sequence that has Bible verses in it, nothing else. So what I'll do is I'll start by dragging this template or double click on the template to create a new sequence. I'll call it, uh, just for lack of a, a better name, I'll just call it Genesis. Oops, Genesis. Um, learn how to spell here. And I'll just call it 1 dash 1, sorry, 1 colon 1 dash 6, just so we can put a few verses in there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a verse tag, and this is where my text is going to go. I then go to my library here and I've preloaded Genesis 1 to 6. So what we do is we start off, we go to the options and we select copy to clipboard. And uh, this will place each time I create a, or each time I click onto a verse, it's going to dump it into me memory. So I'll go click here and go over here and go control V for Victor. And we'll place the slide in here. I'm going to take the uh, word wrapping out and We'll probably want that space removed. Go to the end here, press enter two times, click on this, go back here, press control V, take the space out. Go down here and click on this verse, which copies it to clipboard, and then we paste it in, take out that text. Next, we would want the next verse or next slide, so I'll go to there, put that verse in and control V, take out the space, and continue along as I did in the first verse. And we'll just finish up here. Oops. And finally this verse here. So of course the the best way to do this is to make sure all your verses are ready to go. Okay, so I now have two actual verses, or slides. Each one's got three verses in. We'll go over to the slides here, and now you'll see that everything is looking just good. Check it out, make sure your word wrapping is okay, and that the background is not too light. 
because we want it to be easy to read. If you feel that it would be good to increase the size of the font at this time, you could go, say, to 26, and we'll go with that, and then we'll apply to all. And if you need a transition to go from this slide to this slide, uh, we would click on this slide here and apply that transition. Let's make it uh, two seconds, and then we'll pick Fade, because that's the nicest one to use and apply that and we're basically done. Now what we're going to do here is we would save probably and go immediately to the playlist and there and then we have the uh, projection all ready to go. Now I'm going to have to place um, the screen over to my other monitor here so that my background is behind this screen. Then when I go to show it, we have that. And I'll press my space bar, and it softly fades to the next verses. Now that concludes this lesson.